Hi developers, I'm Hossein Dilla, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to develop iOS applications using Xamarin. And here, we we'll see how to develop an application that uses the switch UI element that is used here to uh, set some properties to true or false. So let's uh, show how to build an application that uses the switch. For that, here I'll use the Xamarin Studio. Let's create a new solution and start an application from scratch. Here I choose iOS app and choose the single view app template. Click next, give our application a name. Let's call it switch app, for example, then next and create our solution. Once our application is created, let's go to the main storyboard because that's the, uh, the user interface that will be shown in my uh, iPhone simulator. Here we get the standard design, but I want to get the design that will look like the iPhone 6 uh, user interface. For that, I selected iPhone 6. Then we can start adding UI elements or um, UI controls to my user interface. And here I go to the toolbox and choose the switch element. Let's drag and drop it here. With the switch element, I want to add a label to display the value of that switch, whether the value is on or off. So let's add that label. And here, uh, in order for me to be able to access this switch and access its value, which, whether it's true or false, I need to give it a name. So let's go to the widget under the properties window and give it a name. Let's call it my switch, for example. Then I need to, um, to get notified or to update the label whether whenever I change the value of the switch, whenever I turn it on or off, I want the label here to update its value also. For that, I need to add an event handler to this switch. To add event handlers, we go to the same properties window and here select events. So let's select events and from this list of events we'll go to the value where we have the changed event and here we uh, associate a new event name let's call it my switch value changes for example the event handler should start with uppercase great when hitting enter, you will be redirected here to the viewcontroller.cs file where here you, you are asked to choose where to put your event handler. So let's put it here. And here it is now uh, our event handler created to tell me whether the switch is turned on or off. So inside this event handler, I'll go and get the value of that switch. So let's call it uh, value equal my switch. And you see here I get it in IntelliSense dot on. The value or the property on will give me the uh, value of the switch, whether it's on or off. After that, I go to my label to update its text. But here I don't have a name for the label. For that, I'll go back to my designer go to properties widget and associate a name to that label so let's call it value label let's go back to the view controller cs and here we can access now our value label dot text to change the text displayed in that label and display the value uh, property the value here is of type boolean, so we need to convert it to a string using the toString method. Now let's run our application in the iPhone uh, 6. Of course, uh, you can choose when, uh, the device you want. And here I choose it, iPhone 6. So here it is now the uh, switch with the label. If I change the value of the switch here to be off, now it's displaying false to the uh, label. And if I turn it on, it displays true. So thank you.